episode one. Hi, hello, welcome to the weekend. Hey. We are currently in Savannah, Georgia, and we are getting ready to go to Jekyll Island with our friends and their kids, so it should be pretty fun. It is about, I think, like an hour and a half drive from where we are. Yep. I'm pretty sure. And I think we're going to go ice skating and kind of just tool around the island. So it should be fun. Oh this is going on a vlog. <laughs> Jekyll Island was founded in 1733 by General James Oglethorpe and named in honor of his friend, Sir Joseph Jekyll, from England. In the late 1800s, Jekyll became an exclusive hunting club and was once one of the largest preservation projects in the southeast. In 1947, Jekyll Island was declared a state park and is now a place where people come to enjoy the historic sites, play on the beach, and hunt for special treasures. Right now for the glass bowls at Jekyll Island, they're, they're different colors. They're about the size of a baseball. Every year, January through February, Jekyll handpicks an artist from around the country to create a one-of-a-kind float for the annual Island Treasure event. This is a hide-and-seek style event where volunteers called Beach Buddies hide two to five balls around the island. If you're lucky enough to find one of these island treasures, bring it to the Guest Information Center where it will come with a certificate of authenticity as well as a biography about the artist that made the glass ball. Jekyll has a ton of activities to do on the island, including a total of six unique beaches. Last time we were visiting, we went to Driftwood Beach, where ancient driftwood monuments line the waterfront. This year, we visited the Great Dunes Beach, which is one of the year-round pet-friendly beaches. There ended up being a massive sandbar, and we were able to make our way all the way to the end. It was awesome. We've only been to Jekyll a couple of times, but every time we go, I feel like there's always something new to explore or to learn, and it makes it exciting each time. Also, the Spanish moss, I can never get enough of it. We then made our way over to the historic district where we found Jekyll Island Skating Village. This runs from the end of November to the beginning of January and is an ice skating style rink, but we were a little disappointed to find out that there was actually no ice. It was like a plastic I I don't even know how to describe it, but it definitely wasn't ice skating. We're trying to ice skate and it's on plastic. <laughs> And you can't push off, so this is what this is what's happening. You can't push off. <laughs> so you're like, oh, oh my god. <laughs>
On the way back to the car, we walked around the historic district just a little bit more in a last ditch effort to try to find one of the glass balls, but no luck. Also, you see what I'm talking about, that Spanish moss? It's amazing. right now i think we're gonna eat some cheesecake maybe play a game maybe watch some netflix and actually chill <laughs> but i'm not really sure what the plan is for tomorrow do you maybe we can convince them to do actual roller skating because that ice skating was like not accurate <laughs> it was still fun but it was not a great representation of ice skating <laughs> so right now we're watching minute to win it Morning. <laughs> we're currently outside. And we're driving Mabel crazy on the trampoline. <laughs> Oh, she does this all the time. Yeah, you she can, likes she it. Jumps on by yourself. She gets on it by herself. And she <laughs> can't swing, but she'll sit in yeah. it. After we were finished lunch, we headed to downtown Savannah to take a ride on the ferry. If you're looking for another unique view of Savannah, I highly suggest the ferry. It's free, and it's a quick way to jump from one side of the river to the other. The ferries are named after Savannah's Bells and connects downtown with Hutchinson Island and the Savannah International Trade and Convention Center. It was a quick ride, but it was nice to take advantage of the sunny day and to get a new perspective of the city. Historic River Street, paved with 200-year-old cobblestones from around the world, runs along the length of the Savannah River. It's actually said to be one of the most haunted places in Savannah. Our friend James Oglethorpe from before, he built upon a burial ground for the native tribes in the surrounding area. Ooh, yikes. After the ferry, we walked through River Street a little bit more and ended up at Ghost Coast Distillery. I didn't take any footage there because it was just a quick drink for Brad before we hopped on a plane back to Baltimore. I absolutely love walking in downtown Savannah. The architecture, the art, even the people, it's all very inspirational. I can't wait to go back. <laughs> Not one of my favorite transitions. <laughs> So smooth and effortless, am I right? We are home and unpacked and ready for the week to start. Um, very, very sad to leave our friends, especially this time for some reason, I think because the trip was so short. But I don't think I'm even ready for this week to start. But I am looking forward to next weekend because we have a Christmas gift exchange with our friends. And then hopefully if it doesn't snow too, too much, we're going actual ice skating <laughs> with Brad's sister and brother-in-law. So that should be a blast. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend and I will see you next week. <laughs>